Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, we arrived at the Coral Atolls to help drive Exylvania from its shores and help out the new nation that we are about to meet, the Solar Empire. However, it didn't go quite as planned during the initial invasion because we did suffer a lot of losses and we did leave a lot of Exylvanians alive, so that only gave me an 86 in the first mission of the campaign. Hopefully next mission we do a little bit better because it's time for us to start Hermit's Heroes. Your battalion of Greenhorn Grunts and Hardened Veterans must infiltrate and sabotage three key Exylvanian installations on Coconut Island. Liberate the Solar Empire captives held there at, to add extra impetus to your assault. Did you see that? We flanked their blockers in the neutral zone and blitzed their defense wide open. Austin, Betty, join us. I was just going through the latest action replays with our new ally. Our new ally? General Harman has an excellent command of military strategy. He does? Indeed. But the greatest general is she who avoids conflict altogether. Wouldn't you say? T, anyone? Head hut, Commander! North of our position are three Exylvanian military targets. Our munitions dumb. A fuel refinery. And a communications tower. Captured frontier missile and bazooka veterans are being held in these installations. Marked your military targets with gold stars and the POWs with silver stars. Now get to it, Commander. Yes, sir. Let's get a move this on, in boys. Mind, you gotta complete all your primary objectives before I'll authorize an extraction. Understood? Greetings, General Harmon. The Solar Empire comes to its new ally with a special request. What is it, Empress Lanko? Frontier always does whatever it can for its pilots. A handful of my loyal solar warriors have been exposed to the dishonor of capture by the enemy. Ma'am, it'll be our pleasure, Commander. Consider those soul POWs another secondary objective. All right, let's take out the out of defense first and foremost. So, this level, another one of my favorites because it actually was a level that was brought into the sequel as an online mission. It's actually one of my favorite online missions in that game. We got three objectives. We got the... Communications Array, the Depot, and the Fuel Refinery. Uh, we got the Solar Empire uh, POWs. We got a team of Assault Vets and a Heavy Tank being guarded over there. We got Bazooka Vets over here. And we also got our Missile Vets being held up here at the Communications Station. Got a fair and decent number, handful of Exylvanians. We got a couple of tanks every everywhere we got some heavy recons we got some gunships but if we can rescue those vets then we're definitely going to be good to go biggest threat to us right now most definitely would be the heavy recon patrols out here just because well since we don't have our bazooka vets with us we're kind of at a, an anti-vehicle disadvantage but uh the mortar vets do an okay job at it i would say Another thing we're kind of at a disadvantage fighting is the watchtowers over here because, like I said, Closing we kind of don't have a good mean to take care of it. Squadron. Gunships have a fix on you via the communications tower. Capture it and they'll be fighting blind. Okay, let's just take care of the Rich out of perimeter flag, defense huh? real quick. Don't let appearances deceive you, Commander. And Inside the base or MG nest, watchtower. enemy patrols. Use your mortar troops to eliminate them. Yeah, mortar vets actually have a decent use in this. I know, weird, right? All right, are there rocket vets in there? Nope, just minigun. Well, in that case, let's just send our recon in there real quick to ram raid the entire location and draw their fire. And I'll go with my flame vet. Where? My recon's all the way back there. Jeez. And the rest of my mortar vets. All right, go give them hell, boys. Oh, 
I forgot about that. That is one resilient flame vet. Jeez. Well, not anymore. This puny battalion dares to assault Uber's communications tower. Gunship. Attack. Okay, this could have gone better in my head. It's a good thing we just rescued those mi missile vets. Well, if you guys speed it up, not very long. Uh, well, that could have gone better. We lost. Uber's communications tower I think, like, yeah, three or yeah, three of our flame vets to those MG nests because I completely forgot they were there. Ours, but we still gotta destroy the munitions dump and capture the fuel refinery. I'm gonna take over the mortar vet. I really should have just stuck with the mortar vet this entire mission. Put the battalion right there. They should be We're just out of range of those towers. So as soon as I take care of the tower, we'll uh, rush in and take the the refinery. gunships watch over the fuel refinery at all times. Commander, the perimeter of the refinery is heavily guarded with MG nests. Oh my God! I actually control. can't take control of the MG towers. I didn't think that could be possible. The enemy approaches. Get to your position! Man the tower! Huh! You learn something new every day! Okay, time to get out! Good boy! I like to think that that's my mortar vet saying that because of how expertly I was able to dodge those bullets from the recon. Hello there. Fancy meeting you out here. Yep, there goes our recon. Shit. Really need to get those bazooka vets free. Alright, you guys get the capture point. I'll get the POWs. Now we finally get to take control of the more superior anti-vehicle unit. Thanks for dodging me. Uber's supplies have gone up in smoke. What will Kaiser Vlad think of Uber now? All right, Commander. The munitions dump left on your list of primary objectives. Ah. <sighs> Well, we've lost the recon. Why? Okay, that's a capture point. I was about to say, why are there still troops back there? Got a couple of heavy recons that are going to try and intercept us real fast. We got a couple of grunts everywhere. The watchtower, which we'll just ignore. Or maybe I'll get my revenge. Oh, yeah, he's you actually going to my troops. Uber sees the enemy approaching his weapon store. Man, the pretty explosions are like... What the... How the... Wait, how did the Solar Empire get freed? How did they... What? Uh, huh? Fireworks on Exylvania Day! Man, that, so much for saying the Solar Empire is useless because they were able to free themselves and take out the munitions dump. What just happened? Well, at least the Solar Empire will be able to take care of themselves easily. Extraction point marked on your radar, Commander. Double time! Yeah, the... Okay, it looks like they lost a couple of their assault vets, but... Okay, I don't want them to lose that heavy tank. That would be a big hit to technique. Man, so much of the Swarm Empire needing us to free them, because they did a good job of it themselves. Why are we even here? No, well, the, because their troops are starting to die, that's why they need us here. All that's, left is a, that, all that's left is a heavy tank. All the Solar Empire assault vets have been killed. Great. Well, Leiko, at least we were able to get three troops back home safe and sound. Oh, wait, no. Looks like the other assault vet's still alive. I can see uh, two, three yellow dots. Huh?
Hold on. Hold the phone. Sorry if I'm pausing so much. This is just driving me insane of just all the weirdness that is happening. No, oh, two assault vets are still alive. The heavy tank's still kicking and it's going for the jerry can. Alright then. I don't know how that happened, but you know what? It made my job a whole lot easier, so you know what? I'll take it. I'm dreading to see what the results of this mission are going to be because we've suffered so many losses and I'm surprised I've been doing so bad in some of these missions. Because usually I'm able to keep the recon alive relatively easily. I just got really bad luck uh, with it getting attacked by the, the rocket vets. Right, let's see if we can just snipe this and let the troops uh, take some time to catch up with us. Yep, there we go. There's one. Number two, and those guys are none the wiser. Alright, aim a little higher. I like this, like, tropical remix of the mission board theme. I really do like it. I think that actually got him? We'll see. Nope, alright. The troops we have should be more than enough to overrun the helipad, so let's just get them and get the hell out of here. Sure that the solar heavy tank is still kicking. There we go. You made it, Commander. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? <laughs> Ubel has failed again. It is only a matter of time before Vlad demotes him to the rank of boot polisher. Well, we in, we were still able to get out in the end. And, really? You got an S-Rank for that? That definitely was not S-Rank material, but okay, I'll take it. We just barely edged out a good score and technique after losing all those units. I still don't know how half of that stuff happened. And we weren't actually fast enough to get the 100% for speed. And power, we did leave a couple of Exylvanians alive, so that's understandable, but we took out the majority of them. Well, yeah, we took out the majority. Uh, the Solar Empire just helped a little bit. Alright, well, next time on Battalion Wars, it's time for me to start my all-time favorite mission, Call Sign Eagle. See you guys next time. Later.